This is an object called V838 Monoceratus or V838 Mon. And it's a series of images of the same object that are taken over um, about a half a year or so in 2002. So we see the central object here is the same in each of the four images. But what is immediately apparent is that there's a expanding brightness around it. So what was first thought would be that, wow, we've got this gas cloud that is just spewing away from this object, but it was spewing away at incredibly fast speeds. What is actually happening here, instead of that gas itself being in motion and causing that expansion, is something called a light echo. So just like you hear an echo with sound waves, as some sound waves come directly towards you, you hear the main source of sound, but then as others bounce off walls and come to you a little bit later, that's where the echo comes from. The same thing is happening with light in this image. We're seeing some of that light coming directly towards us. We're seeing that at the time that we receive it. But some of the rest of the light is actually bouncing off material around that binary in the center. It bounces off it and then it comes to us. That's the light echo. And so each one of those succeeding images where we see this shell further and further from the center is actually that light echo coming to us later in time. So we're actually basically taking a CAT scan of the material around that central star. There's still a lot of mystery surrounding where that material came from. Is it being blown off by these hot, young, energetic stars as a process of their star formation? One of the coolest possibilities is that one of these stars actually engulfed a giant planet in its orbit. So like a giant planet, like many times the mass of Jupiter, could be in orbit very close to this very hot, large star, and the tidal forces and the energy dissipation could have been acting on it in such a way that that now massive planet is losing energy, spinning more rapidly and closer to one of those stars, and eventually gets engulfed in an explosive event. Could have been a large planet, could have been a small star in that system. We don't know what the mass of that intruder was, that, that interloper that caused this explosive event, but it is very likely that it was something in the neighborhood of that binary system that just got too close to one of those stars, got sucked in, and we saw this explosion as a result.